Hello everyone, welcome to Any Best YouTube channel. My name is Enor Johnson. Today I will be talking about scam alerts in POS business. Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, kindly do so. Thank you so much. Yes, it is very it's becoming so alarming the rates of scam scamming in POS business. That is why I just want to put this together, especially for new entrants, people that are coming in new, so that you'll be aware. In order not to close your, your your business just as you open it. Yeah, there's so many things to guard against. And I will be talking about them. First, as now see POS agents as easy targets for scamming. The number one thing you should watch out for is fake alerts. Yes, yeah, some people move about. They will tell you that they want to do transfer. It is always transfer. Although some of them, because they know that um, their awareness is there, people are beginning to know. They will come with um, one kind of ATM card. And then when you put in the ATM card, it will, it will be, it, it look as if it is network issues. You can't get details. And that's okay. Let's, let, let me transfer. And if you don't know, you will say, okay let's go for transfer they always come for transfer to transfer to trans transfer gives more money yeah more than withdrawals so you will now they always they will always go for thirty thousand fifty thousand not small money big money and will not argue whatever you charge them they will not argue that's one red alert one thing to, I should tell you, probably this person, to make you suspicious. They will not argue. Some of them are, are beginning to argue, just know it. But they won't argue too much. You say, well, 1,000. You say, you can't it be 600. I say, no, we can make it 800. They'll say, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So just know that. They will always come. They dress fine. Some of them will come with clean cars. Hmm. Some wear army uniform okay so don't get intimidated when you see them then they say they want to do transfer make sure that the money enters your app not your phone your app not alerts getting alerts on your phone but rather on your app if you cannot come even when it enters wait for like five to six minutes before you tell the person you've seen it they are always in a hurry uh, they just give me, give me, I have something, I want to go and settle something there. And because they are in a hurry, because you have received a, a, a lot of SMS, you think, okay, yes, it's, uh, that's fine. Everything is fine. No, everything may not be fine until you confirm it from your mobile app. So watch against this. People have fallen victims. People have really fallen victims of fake alerts. This small girl, 17 years, she did not know. Her sister put her there just to do the business for her. She said, the sister is a teacher. And this person came with a uniform, army uniform. The girl got intimidated and he asked for 100,000 transfer. This girl transferred, because she got, this girl transferred 100,000 because she got SMS on her phone. She did not confirm from the mobile app. Only for her to find out that it never reflected in the mobile app and the man had left man had gone then uh, another one another one is this they will show you in, on their own map they have the map it's a software an app they, they develop or which they use it you will see your company name all your details you will even see that where it shows successful but it will never reflect on your mobile app if you don't know this, you may give the person the money. People are falling victims. Somebody say, I've fallen victims three times. So don't wait to fall victim once. Not at all. So watch against fake alerts. Another thing to watch against is... Another thing that you have to watch against is people that use a failed... Uh, another thing to watch against is... um. Failed transaction. Okay, now 
how do I say watch against this? Because you may wonder, ah, how do I watch against fake transaction? Okay, now this is it. The it's a two way thing. Probably the person mm, was um debited and the person left. He was <laughs> some people get debited twice and they will leave. And then you have paid the person because they were debited twice and you paid the person once. The company will now bank will now take out the money because sometimes it's network issue. The person the first one that you entered, it looks as if it didn't go. You enter another one and it it went. You pay the person, not knowing that it's been it the it has reflected in in the bank. And now you pay the person. Only for you to discover that, okay, you were deb debited twice and bank has removed that money from you, whereas the customer has le has already gone. So, you have to watch against this. You, you need to have your accountant number, bank account, in case you just have to confirm some things in order not to be a victim. There was a guy. This happened. The money, if the transaction was done twice. It was as if it was network issues. The two went, he didn't know, he paid for, for one. And the bank deducted his money. And when he now discovered that, okay, this is what happened, he, good enough, he, know, he knows the guy. He went to him and said, please, son, that money was deducted from my account twice. The guy said he never saw such a thing. It's, they had to go to the bank, do back and forth this and that until finally it was true traits that he now refunded the money so you just have to watch against this mm, okay another thing is um for fake voice notes it's, this is especially for people that are having um, um workers those that are do, working for them that are doing the pos business for running it for them Okay, now, people will come, they have an app. The app will sound almost like you, the owner of the shop. They will come to your, the person that is selling your worker, and then they will play it where you say they should pay the person money. And if the person doesn't know, the person will just pay the money, saying, thinking, okay, it's my boss. No, no, it's not the boss, it was an app. Okay, now, two people... I had this experience. One was smart, the other one was not. This was a guy. When they came, and he immediately heard the voice. He said, that's my vo boss voice. He paid them the 50,000 naira they requested for. When the boss came, the boss said, I never sent anyone. Only to discover that it was a pre-recorded message, a recorded voice through using an app. The other girl was smart. When they came to her, she said, tell my boss to call my line. Those people tried, they, they, were, they, they called the, 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 the number, the voice, the number and the boss number that is pretended to be calling the boss number. And she actually heard the voice as if it was the boss's own. But she still said, tell my boss to call my line. When they discovered that, ah, this one will not work. And the girl started raising her voice. That's how they ran away. You see, this kind of things, it happened. Another thing is um, fraudulent accounts. Some people come to make transfer through fraudulent accounts. And then the bank will flag you down. They will just put a lien. You just discover that the next day a lien has been placed on your accounts. When this happens, just go to your bank. And, and clear the issue. Sometimes it takes uh, weeks, maybe a, a month or thereabouts. So you just go to your bank in, and, and trash that. This an, uh, is happening. Another thing to watch against, again, is people, you give them uh, your, um, you give them your terminal to input their PIN number and then they will just change the figure without you knowing. This happened to a guy. The woman shifted away. She thought it was because of the sun. So she adjusted her glass and shifted away. He didn't know. 
she was one she was going to withdraw eighty five thousand. She quickly de uh, deleted one zero and it became eight thousand five hundred naira. The guy didn't check. He wouldn't have sus suspected such a thing. So this is one thing you should know: suspect everything until otherwise. She didn't. He didn't suspect it, and paid the woman eighty five thousand. After the day's job. He was trying to balance his account. He discovered that it will not balance. He started checking one after the other and found out that where it was 85,000 became 8,500. He couldn't locate the woman. You see? So you have to watch, guide against this. All those people that come with it and then they shift away from your place. When they shift like that, be suspicious. Make sure you confirm the number. Again, the amount before you give out these are many more things are what the scammers are doing so shine your eyes anybody dress neat and come to you mm -mm. just make sure that uh, it, you are not scammed dress neat take the person as every other person every other person don't go and, and fall and start rushing one thing the scammers do is that they're always in a hurry they're always it's always fifty thousand mostly they call lesser than that or more than that too but mostly fifty thousand is what and they dress fine another thing that will help you in your pos business is debt somebody said almost every civil servant in my area has turned me to a money lender you see <laughs> to loan uh, to some to a loan person a company that gives loan you have to be very assertive don't let people come to you. Elderly people, even the young ones will come and say, please, and give me those still give me a smaller amount. Give me two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. I will give it, give it to you in two days' time, in three days' time. When you give, they won't even patronize they won't even pass. Talk less of patronizing. You won't see them again. They will be avoiding you. So you need to guide against this. Uh, these are the few things I I will like to tell you about today. Um, you know, as I said, it's an ongoing thing. As things unfold, I'll also be putting them out so that you can be very, very watchful so that you don't fall victim. Thank you so much, so very much. I love you. Please, as I said before, give and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you found this uh, useful, please give a like to it and share to others. Thank you. God bless.